It was a low-profile visit, but details are now emerging about a trip to Whistler last month by Ivanka Trump, the daughter of the U.S. President. As Engine Alexander reports, Canadian taxpayers are likely on the hook for some of the costs. Ever so quietly, they slipped into Whistler, strapped on ski boots and hit the slopes. In fact, until this photo surfaced, few knew Ivanka Trump and her family were in the village at all. They stayed at the five-star Four Seasons Hotel during Passover in April. They were surrounded by security guards few ever saw. Surprising because the security bill suggests there were an awful lot of agents in tow. NBC News reports the Secret Service cost was more than $66,000 U.S. They pay for hotel rooms and multi-day ski passes. I'm not sure what their rates are, but uh, they probably um, cover dignitaries fairly thoroughly. It will be up to Americans to pick up that bill. But SFU professor Rob Gordon says Mounties were surely involved and Canadians will be paying for Ivanka's visit too. They need to make sure that there's proper, there's adequate protection and right now of course uh, there are certain sensitivities around the current president and his family. He says there are strict protocols when dignitaries come to Canada. In this case, Washington would alert Ottawa. Ottawa would alert the RCMP. Permission would be granted for concealed weapons. Special arrangements would be made for transportation and border security. If they weren't thorough and something went wrong, they, they would be hung out to dry, something horrible. The exact cost we paid still isn't known, but remember, when our dignitaries go down south, Americans pick up part of that town. St. John Alexander, CTV News, Vancouver.